Hello! Today we're going to learn how to use Google Keep, Google's cloud-based note-taking tool that is included in the Google Apps suite. Google Keep debuted rather quietly, and I find that most Google Apps users don't even know it exists, which makes sense because it is rather hidden away. So to access Keep, all you have to do is head to keep.google.com. This is the basic Keep interface. What you're going to see is that there are different types of notes that you can take in Google Keep. Here, this is a simple text note, and below it I have an image note. But you can also take what is called a checklist note. So say I want to make a grocery list, or any other type of checklist. I can just click this button here to start a new checklist. Then I can type a to-do list or a checklist, entering each item into a line here. As you complete the items, you can check them off here but the items stay in place. This is my favorite type of list, and I love the feature. Although I use Evernote a great deal for note-taking, the checklist functionality in Evernote is a little clunky to use, and I really like the speed and simplicity of checklists in Google Keep. So that might be one reason that you might want to use this over something like Evernote. Although I don't think it's going to replace it entirely if you're a hardcore Evernote user. Another great thing about Google Keep is, as with everything else in the Google Apps suite, everything in Keep is synced in real time to your mobile device, which is another thing I love about it. You can also color code these notes. So you'll see a button down here where I can make this color orange or green. So you can come up with a color coding scheme that works for you. One feature that they've also added is location-based reminders. You'll see this reminder button here, where I can either have Google Keep remind me of something at a certain date and time, or when I'm at a certain location. So, for instance, I could set this to remind me that the next time I pass Whole Foods, I need to stop in and get the groceries on my list. This feature works really well, and it might be my favorite feature in Google Keep so far. So there you go, a little introduction to Google Keep. Check it out, and see how you might be able to use it in your own life. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Have a great day.